Hello, in this video I'll be explaining the different types of cells. There are two main categories of cells. These are eukaryotic cells and prokaryotic cells. Plants, animals, protists and fungi all consist of eukaryotic cells, whereas bacteria and archaea consist of prokaryotic cells. Despite animal and plant cells both being eukaryotic, as can be seen here, there are a few visible differences. One of these differences is what encapsulates the cell. The animal cell has a single cell membrane, whilst the plant cell has both a cell membrane and a cell wall. The cell wall provides strength and protection to the plant cell. A very large and obvious structure in the plant cell, which is present but much smaller in the animal cell, is the large vacuole. In plant cells, this is usually full of water, keeping the cell rigid. If the cell is lacking water, the vacuole decreases in size, and this is what causes wilting in plants. The final obvious difference that is present in plant cells and not animal cells is the chloroplast. Chloroplasts give plants their green colour and convert the light energy of the sun into chemical energy in the form of glucose. This glucose can then be used by the mitochondria to produce ATP. Prokaryotic cells are much smaller and different structurally than eukaryotic cells. Instead of compact contained DNA in a nucleus, prokaryotic cells have a free-floating nucleoid. The free-floating nucleoid allows transcription and translation to take place simultaneously. Not only is DNA within the nucleoid, but DNA is also kept as a small loops called plasmids throughout the cell. These plasmids can move between prokaryotes to pass on different traits. Pili allow the transfer of plasmids, known as conjugation. Pili also assist prokaryotes in virulence, allowing them to adhere onto other cells or surfaces. The flagella is most commonly seen in prokaryotes, but also a feature of some eukaryotes. It is very obviously seen as the tail on sperm cells. They assist in the movement of prokaryotes. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this content and wish to see more content like this, please subscribe. This video was created by Simply Explained.